Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and I'm back again with another video. In this video, I would like to talk about the Bootstrap 4. So everybody is excited that we are moving from Bootstrap 3 to Bootstrap 4 and we already know that Bootstrap 3 was a big hit, big success, every developer loves that. So a lot of new features are coming up with the Bootstrap 4 and this is the only movie that you need to watch to find out about all those changes that are gonna happen in the Bootstrap 4. So let's get started. So the Bootstrap 3 has been already a favorite for a lot of developers who want to design their website which is very much responsive on the mobile interface as well as onto the large screen, large screen sizes as well. So first of all, I will be talking about the rapid changes that is going to affect quite a lot when you will be migrating your websites from Bootstrap 3 to Bootstrap 4 and these are pretty good and drastic changes. So let's get started with that. And there is no such particular list or order in which I'm talking about, but yes, these ch changes will happen. So first of all, the Bootstrap 4 is dropping the support for Internet Explorer 8. Now, if you are just like me who never ever cares about the Internet Explorer, then it's okay. But in case you are a developer who has to design a lot of things formally in a company and has to worry about the Internet Explorer 8 as well, then it's going to be a lot of issues because now Internet Explorer 8 support is completely dropped from the Bootstrap 4. So that's gonna be news number one. Now after that, Bootstrap is dropping the support for the glyph icons, the glyph icons as well. And in fact, if you are a seasonal developer or even if you are a little bit into the development, you know that Bootstrap glyph icon icons are not that much great. And in fact, that has been overtaken by the font awesome. So everybody use the font awesome anyways. So it's always a good idea to drop the glyph icon support and that is another suspense there. Now another interesting thing about the Bootstrap is now they are supporting the cards which is a good CSS thing and I don't want to go into much depth of that but the good news is they are now supporting the cards but this also means that they are dropping the support for panels and thumbs and the wells as well. So do take care if you have designed a lot of thumbs and wells in your previous coded website and you are migrating they are no longer supported and you have to code them by your own in the CSS. One thing that has bugged to almost every developer in their career is some of the styles that are applied by the browser itself. So whether we design a normal HTML CSS site or use a framework like Bootstrap, we always face this problem that a browser tries to depend, uh, apply all its default stylings to our web pages and we have to include a lot of long lists that normalize or reboot all those CSS. So the good thing is Bootstrap 4 is including the reboot.css which will work as a normalized CSS or basically what it will it is going to do is simply it's going to normalize everything in the browser. So the browser default sizes are completely gone and that's one less thing that I have to be worried about. Now also there are a few subtle changes in the tables and the forms but they are not gigantic changes. Yes they are for sure the changes but I won't call them it uh, much of the thing that you need to be worried about, just a few names of the classes and some subtle changes are there. So yes, do watch out for them if you are just trying to migrate your website from 3 to 4. Now another interesting thing that is happening backend in the Bootstrap that you will really like is now Bootstrap is migrating from LAS to SAS and uh, to be honest SAS is much more great and much more powerful. I believe that in the near future a lot of things that we do in the SAS, like declaring the variables and all these stuffs, will be migrating towards the basic CSS in the future, just like HTML5 is far more better than the HTML4. Obviously, I would like to see these changes in the CSS normal form of the CSS as well. But for now, CSS is getting upgraded quite a lot in the bootstrap. So we are migrating from less to SCSS, which is a good news. In case you are getting worried about the 12 column grid size, so don't worry about that 12 column grid size is not going anywhere, it's gonna stick there. And actually that's the base foundation of the bootstrap and changing them quite a lot is gonna be moving the users on to other frameworks like foundation and everything, but they have done a pretty nice job in keeping the, the 12 column grid as it is. Now also uh, they are playing quite a lot about the smallest size out there like uh, 768 pixels and everything and changing them sometimes to 544 pixels, sometimes 540 pixels. But I believe that is going to be much more stable as we roll out, as the bootstrap guys roll out more alphas and betas. 
But again, as of now, I can expect a new size, a new smaller size is coming up, but I cannot be much sure about it because they, there has been some subtleties in the betas as I was analyzing, but again, uh, for sure, we can expect a much smaller screen size. So far, we have been doing this with the spatial media queries, but I think Bootstrap is now trying to support that as well. The final upgrade that I would like to talk about in the Bootstrap 4 is my favorite one and is navigation bar. Now, I always hated the navigation bar in the Bootstrap 3 because it was overly cooked. There were so many inclusion of the classes and uh, the changing of the styles and the CSS and the links was so much pain because I think somehow it could have been done a lot better and the same thing has been done in the Bootstrap 4. Now it's much more better, much more great and easy to style. That's, that's the most important thing that I would like to see there. It should be easy to restyle the things. Obviously, nobody is going to use the default navigation bar of the Bootstrap. Everybody changes it according to the theme of the website or their personal style. So this has been changed quite a lot. And yes, there are some here and there changes as well. Obviously, I cannot discuss all of those changes in just one movie. But for sure, I'll be uploading more movies about what are the changes and what are the classes that has been changed and a lot of stuff like that. So I hope you have enjoyed the movie so far. And in case you have enjoyed, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. I'll come back with more movies. In the meantime, share this movie with someone who can get benefit with us. I'll catch you up in the next movie.